My name is Lori Snyder. I'm Senior Lecturer and Undergraduate Program Coordinator here in the Department of Geology. I've been in Eau Claire since 1994 and have been teaching this course for most of that time. Uh, it's Geology 201, uh, our Geology of our National Parks and Monuments. Uh, so the course is kind of a melding between looking at geological features. Specifically what we do is we look at landforms in the national parks. Uh, and we talk about how they were formed. Um, we look at their um, environment, any environmental issues that are surrounding them. We look at their cultural significance. Uh, and then we talk about how we manage those lands. So it ties together the features that we see, spectacular features which are preserved in the national parks, and then discussion about <clears throat> managing those lands. Who gets to decide what's going to be a national park, why were these national parks created, when were they created, what are some of the management issues, what are the things that you can do there. The course is set up so that there is a, uh, a three-week introductory section where we look at a couple of major geological um, uh, geological processes like plate tectonics and geologic time and then we take that information and use them during the rest of the course where we look at volcanic activity in the parks and we look at mountain building and and, and those kinds of activities. Uh, when you were in class, uh, when you came to my class, you were filming a lecture on Mount St. Helens, the eruption of Mount St. Helens in 1980, which was a spectacular event, um, not only because it was a, a large volcanic eruption, but more importantly because it gave scientists uh, the, the first opportunity that they have ev had ever had to view a volcanic eruption from the, the time the volcano woke up, uh, essentially two months prior to the 1980 eruption in, in May. Um, and, and through the eruptive activity to see how it acted, monitor, uh, monitor it very well, <clears throat> and then through a, a large eruption, and monitoring after. And they, the information that the scientists gathered from that allow them to do much more precise um, volcanic hazards assessment. So, for example, the Mount Pinatubo eruption, which happened about uh, 11 years after Mount St. Helens, they were very successful in predicting that in part because of the information received from Mount St. Helens. Um, so we look at, at at that, at that major eruption, talk about the geologic processes, the lahars, the pyroclastic flows, that types of thing. Then, and then also look at the management. Why, how did the USGS manage that? What can you do if you go see uh, Mount St. Helens? And, and those kinds of things. Um, so again, that fits really well into the objectives, uh, which, is, which is to meld the spectacular geologic landforms uh, within our national parks to how we manage those, those national parks. What I'd really like for students to take away from this course is an excitement to go out and uh, visit these, these parks. They, they really are quite, quite unique geological areas. There are a lot of really um, uh, fun hikes and camping opportunities and other opportunities in these parks. Um, and I kind of hope to give them a little bit of the, the, the flavor of, of going to these places and also to take them in in a little bit different, different, differently than, than most people who didn't know anything about the geology would. So just having an interest in maybe how these landforms were created will allow them to have a more fulfilling uh, visit to, to the national parks. And so that's, that's really what I, what I want people to, to walk away from this class with.